Good morning, boys and girls. All right, today, today's lesson is going to be sway bar in links. Uh, I believe a 03 Ford Ranger. Had a family member drop it off to me, wanted me to take a look at it. Um, said it was making some rattles, you know, hitting bumps and whatnot. So I just kind of gave it uh, once over here. Um, I'll show you the vehicle here in just a second. It's, uh, it's been in the family, I believe, for a while. I don't know. If, I think it was bought new uh, by a family member and passed away and got handed down to another um, or something like that. And it's it's 03. It only has like 50,000 miles on it, roughly. So it's uh, it's in really good shape. So I'm just going to give it a once over and uh, check it out. And the only thing I saw so far um, was a couple of the sway bar bushings had uh, fallen out and uh, sway bar end link bushings. Uh, we've done sway bar end links before uh, on this channel. It's very common on cars for the sway bar end links to either get loose or to um, just the rubber rot and fall apart. And uh, they're very cheap, like 17 bucks a piece or something like that, 20 bucks a piece. Most expensive ones probably going to be like 40 bucks maybe. <clears throat> and almost, uh, well, every car's got them. European, Japanese, domestic, and they all fail. Um, so you got light rattling, uh, hitting light bumps, uh, just kind of an annoying little rattle over bumps. It's usually the sway bars, the sway bar end links. So, um, all right, let's let's take a look at this thing. Hey, there's my cook. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Pretty good shape. Get a nice view of my quarter that shot. Fifty one thousand bushing on the bottom you can see it's kind of loose you got a bushing here and a bushing on top and of course you see there's no bushing there so what we've got to do uh, we just bought a kit we really just need a bushing but we're gonna replace all of them uh, slide this jack out of my way here so same thing on this side. You see how you hear that? That's what they're hearing going down the road. That one's got a little bit of bushing left, so it's probably not rattling as bad, but it's, uh, this one's totally gone. So we went down to the auto parts store. Got us a, a bushing kit, sway bar in length bushing kit. 
gives us all our bushings, gives us a new rod, new nut. Pretty easy deal. Um, this is a very easy repair anyone can do. Um, let's move Oops. Oopsie. I really got to clean this job. This basically gives you everything you need. I mean, if this thing had broken and totally fallen out, this kit gives you everything that you need to replace it. Um, even gives you a sway bar link installation guide. Okay. Uh, for the product and function correctly, for the product to fu function correctly, tighten the assembly until the bushing starts to expand. Then loosen a quarter of a turn so you tighten it down until it starts squishing. Uh, when it starts bushing out, you can just give it just a quarter loose. And um, you don't want the, the bushings to be so compressed that they're going to crack, split, and fall out like. Let's take it happen there, okay? So that gives you a little picture of what's what's right and what's wrong, um, which is helpful if you don't know what's how to do it. Um, so we're gonna gather some tools here. We'll go over to the toolbox, find the sockets I need, and we'll go from there. Caleb and Bet Bailey are playing on the water hose out there. I'm sure you can hear them as well in the background. Caleb's uh, washing the Suburban. I took a look, we got a um, 15 millimeter nut on the bottom, 16 at the top. I'm just gonna pop this thing out of here. Um, got my 15 on the bottom. On a 3 8 set up with uh, an impact gun. Here comes Bailey Dog soaking wet. that no dog you can't chew their hose no you can't chew the air hose good ball no this is a wrench you cannot have it you thief don't be a tool thief she'll steal nuts and bolts and everything she, this dog will take it all yeah mm-hmm all right so got the bottom nuts off Pull, pull this up from the top. Broken materials fall off, so let's see. These should be the same size, roughly. Yes, they are. Um, this is uh, the factory setup, which is a plastic tube um, with the rubber bushings attached to it. On the end, they crack. You can see this has got a crack uh, all the way down. We're not going to be able to reuse any of that, so um, instead, you use this. Oops, wrong one. Use this setup. So washer like a cup washer in the bushing um, let's see then Oops. 
That's not where that goes. All right, so then we got another washer here. Then the tube. And then another washer. And another bushing. Lined up. Find your hole. Driver through. And you'll have your final bushing, cup, and nut. Drive it on down. Put the nut on it. I don't know if it's the same size. It's a 16 down here. All right, so the new nuts, 16 at the bottom and the top for the bolt. So I need to grab another socket. Put your wrench on to hold. down a little bit. She's starting to squish out just a little. And then we'll let it relax. Might let it relax just a little, little more. Try to handhold this and give you a close up. Get my lighting above, shadowing too bad. So there's the top. There's the bushing where it sandwiches the top of the sway bar. Comes down, and you got a bushing that sits on top of the control arm. And then it goes through the control arm, like so. And then you got the, your sway bar goes from this control arm all the way across the other side of the vehicle to this control arm and that keeps the suspension stable all right so now we're gonna do the other side we get our 15 millimeter back on Remember the originals, 15. Those pieces are literally falling apart, crumbling, and just uh, disintegrating. as we disassemble and make sure she's not getting into somebody she's barking at something hey the girl
Get the other kit unboxed here. Hey, pick that metal up. She just had in her mouth and throw it in garbage. She's going to cut herself. The little metal tab right there on the floor. It's a brake tab. This? Yeah. Just throw it in the garbage. and a bushing need another another bushing and then a washer and that sandwiches the bushings and then your sleeve goes on the rod but you gotta start getting ready to line this thing up you got to set your bushing on top of your control arm, lower control arm. You need another bushing. Well, you know what I probably should have done? Probably should have left that loose over there. It's going to make it real tight on me over here. We're going to loosen the other side back up just a touch. I'm not going to take it back apart. We're just going to loosen it where we can get some more travel up on the sway bar. Because it's going to make it real hard. I can do it probably with a pry bar, but we're going to try to make it easier on ourselves real quick. She's loose. That'll give us enough travel, not killing ourselves. Oh yeah. Sometimes you have to back up and punt and reposition yourself and that's okay. So then we're going to put the final on. Bushing goes up first for the control arm, and then your washer, spacer, and then your nut. And now, you know what I'm going to do now? Because I don't have enough, I don't have enough rods sticking out, enough uh, threads. I'll go ahead and tighten my other side back up, and it'll pull the sway bar down and give me the, the amount of threads that I need. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're doing now is just kind of um, evening the the size of how I have the threads uh, exposed on both sides so the sway bar is kind of preloaded the same way you don't want to get one side cranked way down the other side loose or vice versa or both of them way too tight if you get them too tight you're going to split your new bushings get it too loose it's going to be noisy and we're good it's tight it's even that one's actually a tad loose I can spin the the sleeve, so I'm just going to pop it once. One more. I'm just going to kind of look things over again. I looked it over once real quick. Tie rod ends look good. Ball joints look good. I guess while I've got it in the air, I'll go ahead and suspend the front tires. Uh, I'll suspend it and uh, just do a wiggle test on everything. Everything looks good visually. It's like I said, it's only got 51,000 miles on it. It's old. Uh, being an 03, it's got some age, but it's doesn't have that many miles. Things can deteriorate, fall apart on you just for age. Don't necessarily have to have the miles on it, but it, it does look pretty good under here. It's clean as a whistle. And this thing's like new. It is like new. This shaft is new. That's the drive shaft that transmits power from the engine to the transmission to the drive shaft and this drive shaft spins the gears in the rear end which spins the tires right that's a spare tire in case you have a flat you take the spare tire down you got a hole through the bumper you got a long rod and it's got a winch that's the cable for the winch and the winch will lower the tire down so you can get it off of there and then you put it back in and you crank it back up and it it pulls the yeah you know, like an elevator so yeah, it is clean. It's not clean. It's not. Where are those little pads for? This is a gas tank. These pads are heat shields um, from the exhaust. The exhaust gets hot. You don't want it to get the gas tank too hot. Yeah. Um, if you boil your gas, you can get vapor lock. Um, the gas don't want to flow. Or you can melt your gas tank, which is plastic, which uh, would be bad. And it also <laughs> could give it a little protection from stuff that may sling off the drive shaft. And then we get that yeah. over It's just gas. tin, it's but it's it's pretty strong. It's just, it's just sitting under that little shed then. That's why it hasn't got dirty. Yeah, it probably sat in the carport for a long time. It did, but now it's just not like I've always wondered what are these for? A teeny tiny oil leak from somewhere. That may just be from oil changes, but uh, maybe from a valve cover. And it's not even worth these? addressing. These? Yeah. These are the jacks. That's why how I jack uh, vehicles yeah. up. You yeah. never seen me do that? Yeah, no, but you can't see, so because you can't just take the tire off, the whole thing will just fall. Right, if you unbolted the tire, you wouldn't be able to, it's you'd be in trouble. So it's kind of in the tire. Step right over here and I'm going to show you how it works. You use that, right? So this is my jack set up. Each one of these jacks will pick up 6,000 pounds, okay? What? That truck doesn't weigh 6,000 pounds, oh, so uh -uh. we have, don't have anything to worry about on pickup power. This lift will lift 12,000 pounds. So have you lift your truck? I can lift my dually up. So I've got the spacers. They kind of the truck the trailer. These little pads. It won't lift the trailer, but it'll track no, you wouldn't be putting a tractor trailer in the shop. This is not a shop for tractor trailers. This won't even fit. It wouldn't um, fit on this. So I got it under the control arms right by the shocks. Oh, yeah, it's got a big airbag in it, so I'm filling it with this lever. Filling it this is up, this is down. Up, 
This is my safety latch. This, so it doesn't fall? So it doesn't fall on me. So I'm lifting it up. Now I got it on a latch. Oh, I, can, it I can let the air out of it under the latch. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, I'm gonna take the, well, I'm not taking the wheels off. Looks like somebody's been in here. That powder, I don't know. Wait, who's, what did you just put in this? I just put these sway bar links in it because they were bad. The bushings cracked. Yeah. See that crack? Yeah. They, some of them just totally fell apart, fell out like right here. See that? Just oh, disintegrated, that fell right apart. Off. Yeah. So it was making them rattle. When she was hitting bumps, it was making it rattle. She was hearing it inside. So she wanted me to check it out, make sure it was safe, and see, you know, see so, what was causing it. And it was something simple. Today? I haven't talked to him about it yet, but. Uh, I told him what I was fixing, and I told him I was going to look it over a little more, make sure nothing else was going on. So what I'll do in a case like this, we're teaching Caleb real quick how to how to use the jack system on my alignment rack. Um, I'm going to lower this down just a touch, and we're going to do a wiggle test. All right, steer clear. Why? Why do you raise it system, up? Because I got to get it up off the lock. I got it on the safety lock, so it can't fall on me. Get it down about chest height. This is the and I'm gonna put it back on the lock so it can't fall. If, if one of these hydraulic hoses were to burst or a seal was to come out of the pump or the uh round. Is this the lift that, that uh, almost fell on you like your dodge, your dodge truck? No, it didn't fall on me. Alright, so we're gonna do a wiggle test. I'm just checking ball joints and tie rod ends. I spin it to see if I hear any bearing noise. I do not. Can't see real good with a spin. I'll we'll check it in a second. I'm going to check the other side. Get a little side to side. See if there's any play. There's not. No funny noises. All I hear is the brakes scrubbing, which is normal. I don't, I, I don't hear much. Is on this one, this tire, the other one. That's just the brakes. It's not a big deal. It's just the brake pads touching the, the disc as it spins. Yeah. No problem. That's good. You got to train your ear to know what you're listening for. The bearings will have a growling noise. And that's about it on that inspection. Now I'm going to drive it, make sure I don't have any rattles, and that'll be it. We're going to go ahead and lift this thing back up. Wash our hose. Coke is empty. Get out from under there, Bailey. <coughs> Bailey. Get it up off the locks again. She under the truck. Move, Bailey. Bailey, move. Move. Bailey, move. Bailey. Bailey, move. Bailey. Make sure her feet and her tail is not under there. Pull her. I did have a friend. This lift came out of a body shop. I'm not going to name any names. But he got his feet caught up under this bar when somebody was lowering it and it shot blood out from underneath his toenails. Didn't break his feet. He was very lucky. He didn't get hurt severely. But you've always got to be very cautious around lifts. Yeah. Because you can she's hurt yourself really badly and get killed. Her tail's about to get squished. Yeah, she doesn't know. She's 
Here's what we got to look out for. What's happening. All right. Well, it's getting pretty hot in here. Uh, I've been running the, hadn't have, have not been running the fans because the noise uh, is terrible on the video when I do video with the fans running. So I'm starting to sweat. Uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, please hit the like button. It does help the channel. It's a, uh, it's a very easy thing to do. Just hit the like button, a little thumbs up. Please do that. If you like, got anything out of this, please share it. Leave me some comments. Um, there'll be more videos to come on, uh, you know, auto mechanics. That's uh, my specialty, and uh, we're uh, trying to do some more on that. Uh, starting to finally get this camera figured out. I hope. Hope everything went flawlessly on this video as far as audio and video. Um, doing my best to get this camera figured out, and uh, I had bought a wireless system for the audio. It's ended up being terrible. And uh, it was cheap, so I ended up getting a, a good shotgun mic to go on top of the camera. And I believe that's going to take care of the audio issues. Um, and we're working on, I've got one of the best cameras you can get for, for video. So it, it's just the operator doesn't know how to use it properly. So I'm figuring that out, and we're going to get going. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share it. Please leave me a comment. If I can help you with anything, let me know. Have a good one. Peace.